Well, I really blew that one up. Uh, congrats to Aaron this week. <laughs> I, I lost again by, uh, uh, I don't know, it was like 10 or 20 points again. Something like that. Um, second place again. Try again next week again, I guess. Um, gonna, uh, somebody requested me to do a thing about gear and explanations for um, what pieces to put on. Now, it's very simple. You're supposed to win the lottery and then you just buy all the gear and get all perfect sets. <laughs> this is a, my Chinese is the most gear uh, set person, so we're not going to be looking at her in this video. Um, but it really depends on your character and, and how they're built. Uh, a lot of people are going to be doing different things. I think the best effects in the game, just by the way that they, they, uh, they level up and give you these percentage uh, advantages, um, stacking crit, um, stacking hit rate, uh, stacking defense uh, are by far the best uh, best pieces. Uh, stacking dodge is like don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that using dodge is a stupid thing. It's just it's not a good idea as far as I'm concerned. Um, I think I got to be switching out some of my own stuff here, uh, getting rid of my maces and switching them for uh, for swords. What does Moo have here? Um, you know what? I really don't need the damage on Kai, so I think I'm actually going to swap that out. I really need the, uh, the hit rate. Do, 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 do. Um, so I'm going to be tweaking some of my own gear in this video, uh, trying to maximize things um, for the characters that I'm using. Characters, the only characters that I use in PvP right now are, well, my main party is Chenny, uh, Serendi, Kai, and Bear Man, in that order. And I also alternate out Carrot and Chris, depending on if they're heavy on rock, or if I know that they have some crazy... Like, for the, the only person I usually actually change it for is Blue Sapphire, um, because he's got a really decked out um, Jack, uh, and I don't want to put my scissor tank against against a rock tank. I'd rather have a paper tank and uh, another paper character that can uh, take away crit rate and defense. Carrot actually got a huge uh, buff. Uh, a, a lot of characters did. Uh, if you dodge a skill, the the status effect or, or the debuff all still gets applied even if you dodge the skill now. So uh, Carrot's removing their crit uh, and uh, lowering their defense is, is uh, super, super useful. Um, I, in the beginning of the game, I uh, put on things like shields and maces all the time because I was going for the highest flat amount of HP, the highest flat amount of attack, things like that. Uh, now, in the, I, there was a, a, a couple things I lost uh, for really, really crappy reasons. Um, oh boy, maybe I should get some of these. I'll find this up, 4% attack, that's pretty hard to come by. Um... But that, I, I ended up losing a couple uh, really shitty uh, matchups uh, today um, for not the greatest reasons. <laughs> uh, so that's why I'm, I'm going to be looking at this. Uh, somebody else requested me to do some explanations about gear, so that's where we're going to be going through this. Uh, the chest piece is the best uh, gear set because defense um, is really easy to build up to a certain point. So for the most part, you can do that with gear. Um, now, with the attack mastery uh, pieces, you don't want, like, the attack that it gives you is not, like, it's a, it's a negligible, negligible amount of attack. I would say that uh, if you have 10,000 mastery, don't even put the attack uh, mastery uh, pieces on because you're not maximizing your stats. You're not getting enough, uh, you know, bang for your buck there. Um, and even just having 100% mastery uh, isn't really that particularly amazing if you, even if you can get it in in the, the 90 percent um like my chenny just mows through people all the time so I, I really don't feel the need for me to do that uh now my hp is a little bit high so if i ever feel like i need a little bit extra attack then well the thing is I, i've got the sec here here so i'm kind of stuck um that, like this this ring probably would be the only thing i can get rid of Maybe I could switch this out with Kai, but I, I kind of want the hit rate on, on Chenny also. Um, uh, I'm going to try in this video to just sort of move some gear around and try to get hit rates over 30% for all my characters. 
Uh, Jenny's 28. Uh, Kai is the lowest at 22. Uh, Deb's not important because I'm not going to be using her for PvP. Uh, Carrot's uh, going to be one of the lower ones. Uh, Momo, not using. Serenity's oh, stacked. Huge. Uh, you know, Serenity's who I send in if, uh, if uh, Dominique is really low on health and maxed out her, her dodge by getting a kill. Keep Serenity around. Uh, but my Serenity's defense uh, is uh, obviously not that great. Um, my Serenity is probably one of my weaker characters, stat-wise, but Serenity is so useful that it's perfectly fine to be like that. Um, some of the things that I have on Serenity, I feel like I'm, I should probably switch over to Kai. I, I think that I could drop uh, Kai's uh, uh, tire set, but it, it, like, it does come in handy pretty frequently to have two characters that have it. Uh, it's just, I don't have these amazing, like, I, th I think Kai needs the hit rate. Uh, he doesn't really need the crit rate. Um, like, I think my guy's crit rate's decent. Uh, yeah, 31%, that's cool and everything, but I, I really don't think he, he needs it that much. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at another character right now, just, there really isn't a better character to put it on, um, unless maybe Bear Man, Bear Man takes it, because uh, my Bear Man's got a pretty awesome... A pretty awesome set here uh, for swords. Uh, Serendi has an okay sword. Uh, my Chris has a, an okay sword. Um, but uh, the, the pieces that you're going to want to have for the most part are swords and bows, chest pieces, and boots. And uh, then for the accessories, the accessories, it's good to actually have a mix. Uh, I I like having uh, a couple rings uh, for the extra hit because if you just have the swords in all slots, it's like hit rate is really easy to stack to boost up uh, your hit. Uh, and if there are a lot of dodge twinks, if you find that the people that you're playing with, there's maybe a lot of doms or things like that, and there's just a lot of people with high hit rate. Uh, sorry, with high dodge rate, then it's really easy to build up your hit rate. Now I. I feel like doing this, uh, but at the same time, I just don't feel like dodge twinks are really going to stay or maintain a thing. But what is going to happen is a lot of people are going to eventually have a lot of ghost step sets because they're they're amazing. One day, in like maybe a year from now, everyone in the top 50 will probably have four heroes with ghost step. Just because it's just too good movement and controlling areas and space is the most important uh, aspect of this game. Uh, boots uh, are great for really squishy characters like Carrot, uh, but defense is still better. You get more health, and then you get the defense. If you, uh, I'm talking really late term here, but there's going to be a point where my Carrot here would have rather had, if if she had maybe fifty five thousand health, then I, which I could probably get easily if I just took all these boots off and put chest pieces on, uh, would be better. Um, uh, them having uh, the uh, the dodge because dodge seems to scale poorly after a certain point. Um, I think uh, stupid. I, I think my stats are bugged right now. All right, so I got five thousand uh, dodge and it's around forty percent. So I think forty percent is one of the softer caps, and I think it's really, really, really almost impossible to get any after uh, sixty percent. But um, like Carrot is more of a situational character I use, that she's just good enough the way that she is. I really don't think that she's that amazing. Uh, I might even want to take a lot of these things off of her later and, and sort of reinvest them in other places, because my Carrot has some pretty good uh, uh, pretty good items on her uh, compared to what other people are going to be uh, equipped with. 8% damage. Mm. Yeah, so... Really, already I'm thinking, you know, why don't I just take this, this bow off Kai and switch it with Carrot's bow, because Carrot has the hit rate on the bow. Um, but because I still use Carrot quite a lot and her hit rate's pretty, pretty low, I, 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 I'm a little bit uh, conflicted myself. See, I uh, don't think that there's this golden, you wear all chess pieces, you wear all um, defense uh, HP pieces for accessories and you only have swords equipped. I don't think that's the way that you should play. Uh, you're not going to get that. It's not practical to do that either. Like, well, 
it'll be practical depending on the audience. If you got a big bankroll, then sure, you can do whatever you want. But uh, if you're just looking at uh, an ideal way to build things up, it just sort of depends mostly on the character and where you're going to have them. Uh, my character, I, I run it in, uh, my, sorry, my carrot, I run in slot two. Uh, on, in PvP on the square map, which is the closest confined map that runs her in, in the back corner where she's nice and safe. So I really only need to worry about being attacked by one person, uh, one character. Generally, with Carrot, Carrot won't be attacked. If I'm controlling and I'm going to win, for the most part, Carrot's only going to take one attack. Better to have dodge in that situation than it is to have HP. It just is what it is. Having the extra HP, uh, arguably, May, might make me survive, but for the most part, uh, a lot of people are running in their fourth slot things that can kill Carrot either way. Um, not everybody runs the great tanks. Like a lot of people have Deb in their fourth slot, for example, or uh, some people have um, uh, Dominique in their their fourth uh, spot. Now, uh, Carrot's a paper, good against Dominique and all that, but if a Dominique comes and crits my Carrot, she's too squishy to survive. I kill carrot with my Kai all day long. <laughs> There's a lot of Kais in the fourth spot. Um, not everybody runs the the great uh, formation that they might, uh, or like my, my optimal formation at least I should say. Everybody has their own way that they do things. Uh, but uh, that's just the way that I built it. You can see all bows on this character um, just because, well this bow is amazing. Uh, I don't have anything to refine it yet. Um, but it would be if if I got a a pink damage on it. I got the I uh, acquired this bow just like this. I never modified it or refined it or any or I used any modification potions on it. It just came like this. So this thing's pretty cool. Um, but I, I'm I'm going to be looking myself at, at changing a lot of these things because they're just not working out for me. I had a lot of characters uh, that I or a lot of games that I could have finished a lot faster if I, I had better hit rates on my guys. Uh, and because dodge is a thing right now, I, I am going to be moving things up. So uh, I'm going to be closing this video off in a little bit, but I'll be uh, putting up more detail on uh, some different characters, and we'll go in an in-depth character thing on this character, this gear, uh, this is why.